Yo, Ski, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, who? CYGG. Now, today I'm about to be making a part two to how to get certain X Factor abilities, like I made in my last video, or whatever. But in this video, I'm about to be going into more detail and explaining and also answering certain questions that you guys may have asked me either in the comments or on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. But um, a lot, I've seen a lot of you guys say that when you tried to equip the X Factor ability, it didn't work for you guys. Now, the reason why is because if you're in the middle of the season or in the playoffs or something like that, you cannot equip the X Factor ability. As you see right now, it's going to say that you didn't play over 500 downs and stuff like that. So in order to, you know, automatically equip it, it has to be doing either the off season or the preseason. That's when you can actually equip those abilities. Now, another thing that I realize is arch if archetype is highlighted on your character and then you go and you give him the X Factor, Superstar X Factor, while, you know, your strong arm is equipped, then you actually can get the Bazooka Arm ability, man. Is it is it Bazooka Arm or is it Bazooka? Like, I really need to know. Like, y'all need to tell me which one. Am I wrong or am I right? Is it just Bazooka? Oh, okay, it's Bazooka. Anyways, man, go down to the ability slice because that's the thing that we're going to be paying attention to. Uh, paying attention to. Uh, if you see it say unlocks at 60, 70, 80, 90, and 95. Now, basically what you want to do is when you're like, say, for example, it's at 59 and you have one skill point, you want to equip that skill point right then and there to unlock your superstar ability. As you guys can see, boom, I equipped it. It says ability slot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to abilities and then boom, there you go. I got Loft and Dead Eye. Now, you have to do this at every basically attribute cap, if I would say, or ability slot cap, if that makes sense. Because I did it right there and then boom, I got that spin cycle. Now, also by doing this, you can mix and match abilities. As you guys can see, I'm getting scrambling abilities with the bazooka arm. But also what I realize is for those who asking about escape artists, if you just do scrambler most of the time, you're going to get running abilities such as jukebox, um, leapfrog, spin cycle, human joystick. Basically, your player is notified as being a runner. The only quarterback ability you may get out of that um, scrambler package is fast break you're not going to get escape artists because i went to lamar jackson's um overall and i went to cam newton's overall and i tried to replicate that their overall with my quarterback and what i realized is that their improviser with their highlighted archetype now when i went to that and i maxed out my improviser and i you know unlocked my improviser at the 95 slot what i realized was you get escape artists by having you know by maxing out your improviser now one thing you need to know when doing this is um your speed must be above an 85 or 88 in order to equip escape artists you cannot have an 82 speed guy trying to have escape artists you must have a high speed now i did have a last video where you guys were asking me how to make a dominant running back can you get on bar and jukebox yes you can but you got the mix and match abilities as you guys can see, my elusive back was number one, and I equipped it an X Factor to get first one free. Now, you guys just see me playing around with overalls. Of course, I'm not going to keep my running back like this. I'm just doing this just to showcase you guys this. Now, at the first slot, I'm going to upgrade my power back. Now, upgrade my power back at the first slot is going to give me arm bar. Now, for my second slot at 90, when I get to 90, I'm going to work up my elusive back. Now, that's how you mix and match abilities, as you guys can see that, because we're going to be talking about that a lot today. Now, you see that? My loose back at 89. Boom. Ability slot, it says equipped at 90. Now, I'm about to, you know, use that skill point to get that 90 overall. Now, watch this. All right. It's going to say ability slot. And the ability that I'm going to get is human joystick. Now, think about that. Human joysticks means you can make all types of cut without slowing down. And then I got first one free, which means my first juke move, my first hurdle is free. Plus, you got arm bar. Man, this running back is going to be unstoppable. He can still form, hurdle, make different types of movement. Like this, this is almost like the ultimate back on the game. Now, I'm not going to lie. Some abilities are special made for some people. I really do believe that because I tried to get certain abilities and couldn't get them like the evasive ability. 
I don't know if they just put that in the game for Saquon Barkley, but I tried my hardest to mix and match. I put receiving back first and then elusive back, elusive back first and then receiving back, and I could not get it. Now, I did see that you can get Gambler. You can get that by having Improviser as the highest, and also, as you guys can see, Baker Mayfield has Escape Artist because his Improviser is the highest. Now, I don't know if you can actually do like Lamar Jackson and get both Scrambling and um, Escape Artist. That's kind of difficult to get both of those. Now, um, in the last video, I also talked about if you if like your run stopping archetype is the highest and you equip the next factor ability, you may get reinforcement when in actuality, you will get something called run stuffer, which means they will play the run more aggressively for your linebackers. So and i'm going into the next question what was the next question i was asked oh if i want to naturally make my player good and naturally get my player those development traits how do i go about it now usually when you reach a message board sometimes when you um see your player request to be utilized more that's how you get the star trait or when he plays you know week one good or play one week good and then he asks to get more touches the next week then that's how you get the star trait to get the superstar abilities and x factor abilities your player must continuously show up in the pro bowl like if he show up in the pro bowl the first year then he's going to get a superstar ability if he show up in the pro bowl again the second year then boom he's going to get an x factor because you know he just showed up there twice so yeah he's dominant now by your players not showing up to the pro bowl they can actually lose those x factors as well so that's another thing that i learned now i'm about to be teaching you guys how to make a Jalen Ramsey cornerback. Now, as you guys can see, Jalen Ramsey has universal coverage and acrobat. The best cornerback in the game. So if I'm making my franchise and I'm making a cornerback, I would want my cornerback to be exactly like the best cornerback in the game. Now, just like Saquon Barkley, Stephon Gilmore has a unique ability, which is that man up. I'm going to be honest. I tried to get man up, man. It, it, it did not work. I even tried maxing out my man at both slots. And... It only gave me pick artists and unfakeable. Uh, pick artists is basically, you know, you catch an interception, you have unlimited stamina on return, which means you can go crazy holding the RT button and you don't got to worry about running out of stamina. But when making a cornerback like Jalen Ramsey, the first thing you want to do in that first slot, your first ability slot, you want to put up zone. That has to be your first ability, man. Zone has to be the first one as you guys can see boom acrobat i got that now when you're doing your second ability slot at 90 what you want to do is put man because universal coverage means you're good at both man and zone coverage you get more knockouts in both man and zone coverage and with that being said as you guys can see i did zone at 85 and i did man at 90 boom universal coverage acrobat Jalen Ramsey, universal coverage, acrobat. That's how you make your cornerback like Jalen Ramsey. Also, man, um, y'all already know about the rack em up abilities, man, and stuff like that. If you get rack, -em, if your route running is your highest archetype, you're gonna get rack em up. If your deep threat and physical is the highest, then you're gonna get double me. If your slide is the highest, you're gonna end up getting a running back ability like first one free and stuff. Now, whenever you're making an edge threat type player, the best thing you wanna do is go with power rusher. That's the best archetype because you get the best abilities, in my opinion, honestly. Oh, excuse me, I almost had a hiccup. But um, having a power rusher is the best way to go. As you guys can see, I got pass rush elite. Now, one thing you guys need to go... Uh, <laughs> I said need to go. Yeah, what, what am I talking about? One thing you guys need to know is when making either um, an edge rusher to get either edge threat or pass rush elite or something like that, your speed and whatever you're doing must be high. Like, for example, my speed rusher. His speed is above 83, 84, something like that for edge threat, and his strength is high with his finesse move. In order to get edge threat, you have to have those three abilities be high. His strength, his speed, and his finesse. For pass rush elite, your strength, your power, and a little bit of your speed must be high because you're an elite. Like, you're so hard to stop off the edge because you have those three things otherwise you're not gonna always get them now when you're one thing to understand is when you're mixing and matching abilities like i did with running back and cornerback if you go back to your superstar x factor and you try to restart them what's going to happen is it's going to take the first overall that you did or the highest archetype at that moment 
and it's going to give you a, only abilities that pertain to that particular X factor. It's going to reset everything. You're not going to be able to get two different ones like on bar and human joystick. You're not going to be able to do that. So if you really want to get what you want, if I was you, I would just save before I'm getting ready to add that skill point and, you know, get out of there, save or, you know, try to mix and match and upgrade whichever one you want to upgrade. And then if it doesn't turn out how you want to, then basically back out and load back in because um, that, that would be the best thing to do because trying to go and reset it is going to reset everything. And you're not going to be able to get those abilities back and you're going to have to go try to attribute adjust, which means putting down stuff and putting up stuff just so you can get certain abilities. But if this video helped you guys, man, let me know. It's your man, who? CYGG, and I'm out.